Hi, good morning, everyone. Beta, welcome to the next session in which I am going to go ahead and discuss questions from May 2019 uh, Delhi University paper. And both the questions that I'm going to take today, they would be based on your public goods. Right? So it's an important topic from the point of view of exam and let us try to see what kind of questions were asked in past year paper. Okay, beta, let's read it out. So this is Arun and Barun are deciding whether to buy a television or not. Right? TV is a public good. So TV is a public good means once the TV is purchased, it is going to give utility to both of them. Right? Arun's utility function is given by, so you are given the utility function of Arun as 1 plus G into MA and Barun's utility function is given by 3 plus G into MA where MA and MB are the amount they spend on their private consumption respectively. Okay, so try to understand this thing, what the question is saying. See, these two people, they have to go ahead and they have to buy the public good also and they have to buy the private good also, right? When it comes to the, when it comes to purchasing the public good, then once the good is purchased, both of them can go ahead and use that public good. When it comes to purchasing the private good, then you have to buy your individual quantities. You have to buy your own and you have to consume your own. MA and MB represent the amount that they are spending on the private good consumption. Right? That's the amount they are spending on the private good consumption. And it says that G can take two values. One, if TV is purchased and zero, if not purchased. So basically, my public good G can only take two values, one or zero. One means that I have purchased one television. There is just one TV that we have. And zero means that there is no TV. So this is how we can go ahead and we can just represent this G. We can represent this G, right? Okay. Both have 60,000 to spend on public and private consumption. So try to understand that they need to consume public good. They need to consume private good. And the total amount that they have is 60,000. So both of them have 60,000 that they will be going ahead and they will be spending. Is that making some sense? Okay. On public and private consumption, and TV costs fifty thousand. So, अब समझो बात को. So, try to understand that Arun may give some amount to purchase TV, and Barun may give some amount to purchase TV, and this total amount only if this amount is fifty thousand. Hmm. Only then they will get TV. Samajro, the price of television is 50,000. So only if the contribution of Arun plus Barun exceeds 50,000 or is 50,000, only then this television would be purchased. Samajhe? Okay. Now it says, is it Pareto efficient to purchase the TV? Very, very simple question. Beta. Let's see how we can do this question. I will start with Arun. So let's say that Arun's contribution to buying TV is PA. Right? We know that the total amount that he has to use on buying television and on buying his private goods, total amount he has is 60,000. So if he is contributing PA to buy the public good, how much of the private good he can buy? What is the amount left for private good? It will be 60,000 minus PA. It will be 60,000 minus PA. Is this clear? Take it. So, this is what I have done beta here. I am saying, ki, let's assume that Arun, he is going ahead and contributing towards buying TV 
एंड वेन ही विल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू बाइंग टीवी वी आर एज्यूमिंग की टीवी डेफिनेटली आ ही रहा हो टीवी विल कम इन द हाउस एंड वॉट इज हिज यूटिलिटी फंक्शन गिवेन टू अस बेटा तो यूटिलिटी फंक्शन ऑफ अरोन इज वन प्लस जी इन टू द अमाउंट ऑफ प्राइवेट गुड राइट सो बिकॉज ही इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टूवर्ड्स टीवी एंड टीवी इज कमिंग सो इंस्टेड ऑफ जी आई विल पुट वन हियर राइट and instead of ma ma was representing the amount left for private good so instead of ma i can write 60000 minus pa hai na so i have gone ahead and i have written 60000 minus pa so 1 plus 1 is simply 2 so this will be 2 into 60000 minus pa so this is going to be the utility of arun if he contributes towards the tv if arun contributes towards tv the utility of arun is going to be 2 times 60000 minus p i hope this is clear to you acha what if he does not contribute to tv what if he does not need any tv if he does not need any tv then what will be his utility function beta his utility function will remain the same 1 plus g into ma g will become zero he is not giving a single rupee to buy the public good right so i am going to go ahead and assume that g is zero there is no tv that is there and in this case his entire income is left to buy the private good so he had an income of 60000 so this is going to give you 60000 now my question is when will he go ahead and when will he buy the tv kab tv kharidega when will he contribute to purchasing tv he will contribute towards tv only when the utility from tv exceeds the utility from not buying tv tabhi to wo tv kharidega so he will be purchasing tv only if utility from tv exceeds the utility from not buying tv so what was his utility when he was buying tv bataiye what was his utility when he was not buying tv beta this 60000 so he will be going ahead and buying tv only when this 2 times 60000 minus pa is greater than equal to 60000 right So, but if I just solve this now, यहाँ से two and sixty thousand का हो जाएगा thirty thousand. I will go ahead and I will get कि sixty thousand minus PA is greater than equal to thirty thousand, or PA is less than equal to thirty thousand. So this means, let us let us try to interpret this thing. इसका क्या मतलब है? This means that Arun will get more utility. from tv as compared to no tv if what's the condition if the maximum contribution for tv is 30000 this beta in economics is called as the reservation price isko bola jata hai reservation price रिजर्वेशन प्राइस माने व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम कंट्रीब्यूशन आई एम विलिंग टू मेक फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट इन दिस केस फॉर टीवी द मैक्सिमम कंट्रीब्यूशन आई एम विलिंग टू मेक इज थर्टी थाउजेंड राइट सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी माय रिजर्वेशन प्राइस मैं तीस हजार से ऊपर टीवी के लिए नहीं दूंगी एंड इफ आई पे अप टू थर्टी थाउजेंड यूटिलिटी फ्रॉम टीवी विल एक्सीड द यूटिलिटी फ्रॉम नो टीवी समझे ठीक है Now I need to do a similar analysis for Barun also. So what is the utility function of Barun beta? It is three plus G into MB, right? Again, if suppose he is purchasing TV, so try to understand. Suppose Barun's contribution to TV is PB plus private good, and the total amount he has is sixty thousand. right so what is the amount he will be able to spend on private good it will be 60000 minus the amount he has given for tv right so what i will do i am saying 
वॉट इज हिज यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इफ ही बाइज द टीवी अगर वो टीवी खरीदता है तो उसका यूटिलिटी फंक्शन क्या होगा सो जी विल बिकम वन बेटा इफ ही इज बाइंग टीवी जी विल बिकम वन राइट सो वॉट आई कैन गो हेड एंड डू इन दिस केस आई कैन जस्ट गो हेड एंड आई कैन प्लग जी एज वन राइट राइट एंड हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस आई विल जस्ट प्लग सिक्सटी थाउजेंड माइनस पीवी सो दिस विल बिकम बेट ऑफ फोर सिक्सटी थाउजेंड माइनस पीवी फोर इंटू सिक्सटी थाउजेंड माइनस पीवी सो आई विल गेट दैट द यूटिलिटी फंक्शन ऑफ बरून विद टीवी इज दिस and what if he does not buy any tv what if there is no tv in the house so if there is no tv in the house then it is 3 plus g into mb to uska pura 60000 intact hai he can use that 60000 to buy the private good so instead of mb i will just write 60000 and instead of g i will just write 0 and i will just get here 3 into 60000 again beta When will he contribute to TV? कब वो TV के लिए contribute करेगा When will he be contributing towards TV? He will be contributing towards TV if the utility from TV exceeds the utility from no TV. So utility from TV beta is this. Is this? So I've just written this utility from TV here. And utility from no TV is this beta. So I've just written this here. So if you will just try to solve this now, so four and sixty thousand will cancel out. This will give you fifteen thousand. Three into fifteen thousand will be forty five thousand. So you will get that PV cannot exceed fifteen thousand. So we have got that the reservation price, the maximum I am willing to pay, Barun is willing to pay for TV is fifteen thousand. अब समझो बात को. मैक्सिमम जो अरुण पे करना चाहता है दैट अरुण इज विलिंग टू पे इज थर्टी थाउजेंड मैक्सिमम दैट बरुण इज विलिंग टू पे दैट इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सपोज आई टेल यू दैट दे हैव पेड देयर मैक्सिमम अमाउंट इसने अपना पूरा मैक्सिमम थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड पे कर दिया दे हैव गॉन अहेड एंड दे हैव पेड द मैक्सिम अमाउंट तो बेटा कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट विल बी द टोटल अमाउंट दैट दे हैव पेड यस दे हैव पेड टोटल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड राइट सो वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट अरुण एंड बरुण टुगेदर दे हैव पेड अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड बट व्हाट वाज द प्राइस ऑफ द टीवी टीवी वाज कॉस्टिंग फिफ्टी थाउजेंड राइट द कॉस्ट ऑफ टीवी वॉज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड तो दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू परचेज टेलीविजन even even if they have paid their maximum amount agar wo apna jo bhi unka maximum willingness hai agar wo 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 bhi pay kar dete hain to they will not be able to go ahead and purchase tv tv usse nahi aa payega right so therefore it is not pareto efficient to buy the tv because they will not exceed the maximum amount that they are willing to pay right so it is not pareto efficient to buy the tv am i clear ठीक है बेटा सो टीवी विल नॉट बी परचेज्ड सो दिस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली आस्ट दैट दिस ओनली सो व्हाट वाज द क्वेश्चन आस्किंग इज इट पेरेटो एफिशिएंट टू बाय द टीवी नो इट इज नॉट पेरेटो एफिशिएंट टू बाय द टीवी ठीक है बेटा नाउ लेट मी जस्ट गो टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बेटा दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आल्सो आस्क्ड इन मे 2019 पेपर प्लीज ट्राई टू सी दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन सेइंग The question is saying in a town of twenty thousand residents, security is a public good. So you are given that security is a public good. Okay, it costs five hundred to provide a unit of security, and the marginal benefit is one upon one plus G to each resident, where G is the unit of security provided. So you are given marginal benefit is. One upon one plus g to each individual. हर individual को marginal benefit इतने का मिल रहा है from one unit per unit, right? And um, it says what is the Pareto efficient amount of security for this town? And the cost is given to you as five hundred. 
and it tells you that there are 20,000 residents in this society. So it's a very simple question. In such questions, beta, what we go ahead and do is we equate social marginal benefit to social marginal cost. Social marginal cost means marginal uh, private marginal cost plus any external cost. Social marginal benefit means marginal benefit to the society. So try to understand that one individual is getting a marginal benefit of 1 upon 1 plus G. So if I ask you what is the marginal benefit to the society, you will tell me marginal benefit to society will be marginal benefit to one individual into the number of individuals, right, into the number of individuals. So this is going to give me marginal benefit to one individual into the number of individuals. That means I will get 20,000 upon 1 plus G. And what is the marginal cost of providing this? So the marginal cost is given to me as 500. Right? So I need to equate marginal benefit to marginal cost. And this is the social marginal benefit. Society ko benefit itne ka hai ek unit se. Aur usi ek unit ki cost 500 hai. We will equate the two. Achha, there is another way to interpret this thing. So, if I just go ahead and I rewrite this thing, so can you see I can rewrite this thing as 1 upon 1 plus G is equal to 500 divided by 20,000. I can bring 20,000 here. So, try to see that this is the marginal benefit to the society, uh, to individual. One individual ko jo marginal benefit mil raha hai, that is this much. And try to understand that this is saying ki jo hamari 500 ki cost hai na, us ek unit ko provide karne ki, us security ko provide karne ki, that must be divided among 20,000 individuals. Assuming ki hum har individual se payment lenge, so I am going to divide the 500 in 20,000 parts. I am going to collect money from each of them. So this says that marginal benefit is equal to cost per individual. Hai na? Marginal benefit per individual is equal to cost per individual. So, this is another way to interpret this equation. A bot simple. Hai. You just need to go ahead and you just need to solve this. So, if I just go ahead and I just take this forward. So, 20,000 upon 1 plus G is equal to 500. So, 1 plus G will be 40. So, G will be 39. So, the Pareto optimal number of securities that should be there in this society should be 39 units. And that will be the answer beta, 39 units. Am I clear with this? Okay, beta. So, I hope that this session was useful to you. Uh, such kind of questions on public goods externalities must be practiced. They are very, very important from exam point of view. Okay, thank you.